What is up my Libras? One of my favorite signs. You guys know you're one of my favorite signs because I say it every time. Um, we're just going to do a how do they feel about you reading for 2020. This is going to be my last how do they feel about you reading for 2020. Um, I'm just going to do my own little spread. I'm going to pull a couple cards and we'll see what they say about how your person feels about you. And it also could go towards how you feel about this person. Remember that energies are always interchangeable. Also, this is for any Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Don't forget to get your birth chart done. It is so important if you watch these readings to get your birth chart done if you want to know specific things. I, you know, normally try to aim my energy towards love because I love love. You know, I'm just that kind of person. But I can't always control the cards or spirit. Spirit's going to say who the people are watching me, you know, what they need to hear. So sometimes it'll be about business. Sometimes it'll be about other things. Also, if I say he, she, um, you know, you, them, energies are interchangeable once again. And we all have feminine and masculine energy, which means that... Um, when you have feminine and masculine energy, we all have that within us. So I'm not, it's not gender specific. It really is just, you know, who is having a more, you know, masculine or feminine energy at that time. A woman can be a king and a man can be a queen. It, you know, it's all about the energies and we interchange those pretty much daily in our lives numerous times. And, you know, time is also fluid. So if you do watch this, you know, a little after 2020, that's when universe wants you to see it. Universe doesn't make mistakes. I'm using my Secrets of Sexual Tarot deck for this one because I felt like it was time to get a little bit kinky. So we're going to go for it. All right. Let's see here. All right. Overall energy. What do we got? We got the hangman. A little stagnant in the sexual department, guys. What's going on? We don't want to be stagnant in the sexual department. After that, we have the Two of Cups, though. And after that, we have Justice, the Wheel, a lot of major arcana, but Two of Cups right after that. Just so you know, I always like to just give a little peek. You know, sometimes spirit tells me to, so I got to do what it tells me to. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share this video if you feel like it connects to one of your friends. Um... I'm a newbie on YouTube, but I've been reading for over 20 years, so, and also, like, don't, all the information is below for private readings, but don't be shy to ask me one question. I will do that for free. I don't charge to help people out. You know, if you just need to know something, I will absolutely help you out, and if you subscribe, like, and comment, you also are in the drawing for a free Friday reading, which I do every Friday. All right, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird right now. I'm super stuffy. Like always, my allergies only go away between like December and May and the rest of the year. I'm like this huge mess and it totally sucks. All right, let's keep going. So hangman, stagnant, definitely in this energy with this person. All right, after that we got justice, which is so weird because I just shuffled and it was actually like down the bottom of the deck. This could be... um. A Libra, this is your energy. You want justice in a situation right now. Like, you're like, I either want to get back at a person, or I want to make someone jealous, or I want this person to give me justice and say I was right. That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like a very hostile um, energy, and I feel like that's where the stagnation is coming from. All right, after that, because it's your twin or not twin flame sorry it's your soulmate right here this is the two of cups and you are feeling so close to this person and you feel like they betrayed you and they're kind of feeling the same way just so you know i want to know i'm saying you even though it's a how do they feel about you reading you guys are mirroring each other really badly right now like i feel like you don't both of you aren't putting out anger. You're both being stagnant a little bit. Like you're not texting it every day anymore and you rarely hear from each other. Then with justice, you both feel like, 
a little bit betrayed for some reason. Like, both of you did something. And this twin cup energy, though, you can't help but feel something for this person. You're still feeling something for this person. And this person is still feeling something for you. And that energy is strong. And it comes through pretty much on a daily basis in your thoughts and in their thoughts. But you guys are definitely mirroring each other right now. And I actually, I think I picked that up in like one of your November or September readings where you guys are really mirroring each other. All right. Then we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so when we're talking about the Eight of Swords, this can be, you know, a lot of anxiety. And um, how do I want to put this? It's just like you feel a little bit of relief after the struggle because you don't have to go through so much and your person does too but you guys still want to be together you guys really still want to be together it is but it's a struggle for you guys to be together and that's kind of crazy like it really is a struggle i don't feel like you guys i feel like you guys both um when you were dating put on like a little bit of a facade your person definitely did they put on a facade and they felt like you were kind of cracking their code. And I feel like they needed to take a step away from it, hence the stagnancy in this relationship. Use discernment. Remember, don't make it this your story if it's not your story. Then we have the Emperor energy. Okay, so this is Aries energy, but you're definitely, um, this person looks at you like you're their emperor. Whether you're male or female, you can be an emperor. You can be wise. You can be um, very sensitive to all of the energies around you and what people think about you. You can really tap into that. And your person knows that. And I feel like you know that too. I feel like you know that too. I feel like you know that this person can tap into you as well as you can tap into them. Because you're twin, you know, this is not twin flames. Sorry, I, I keep wanting to say twin flames. We'll see if it comes up, but I keep wanting to say it. Um, two of cups, you know, as soulmates. You guys have this crazy connection sexually. I would show you some of the cards, but I mean, this is the emperor. And I know my, my halo light gets in the way of these cards, but this is my emperor. This is the way this person looks at you. Whether you're a female or a male, that's a sexy ass picture. So they look at you like you are completely gorgeous. Then we have the Knight of Swords. They definitely want to come at you very impulsive. And I'm feeling like this could be an air sign, maybe um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, because besides a lot of the major arcana we are definitely just having air signs going on here and i feel like this is how they want to have you okay all right there's no nudity there so it's all good to go all right this is my sexual tarot deck they just they feel you like i feel like they feel you but there's something they're hiding that they're scared of you finding out but you're so intuitive right now as this emperor you're in an emperor position where you're really using your intuition and your your wiseness and going back and thinking about relationships you had before or other people you knew and you're seeing something in this person and they're so scared for you to find out how or what they have done or what they really are even though it wouldn't be anything that would offend you all right let's pull another another card all right the knave of pentacles which is the knight of pentacles okay so when we're pulling the knight of pentacles you know this is young ambitious flamboyant diligent i mean they definitely like when they want to come towards you they will come towards you but i feel like it's going to be in kind of like a little bit of an immature way. I, it, You guys are definitely soulmates, but there's a stagnancy. I feel like there could be days where you guys go without talking, possibly even weeks, and then all of a sudden you come together again and have like great booty time. I'm just saying. But 
as far as emotionally this relationship hasn't touched the surface yet. Um, the way they feel about you is amazing. They think you are this like amazing person. They have so many hidden secrets though that they are so afraid that you are going to find out about. And I haven't done any clarification in the how do they feel about you readings, but I'm actually just going to clarify um, your two of cups and your justice. Like, what is the justice all about? What do you guys want justice about? And what do they want justice about? All right, Queen of Cups, they want to know if you love them. Justice on top of justice, okay? They want justice for something. And then the Eight of Wands, communication. Okay, so definitely you guys could have had a fight. And this person feels like they need justice because of that fight. They could, like I said, with air signs, they're always thinking about reasons if you are dealing with an air sign. I want you to be aware of that. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, really be careful about the way you speak to them emotionally because their hearts are usually closed where their minds are open because their souls are very young. So be very careful with that. All right, and let, then let's do the Two of Cups. All right, Six of Swords, you guys need calmer waters. Again, air sign. Ace of Pentacles. This could be uh, about a money situation. All right. And then the moon, Major Arcana, about subconscious. And their subconscious, they're thinking, I'm not good enough for this person. Uh, they're not acting like that, but in their mind and in their heart, they feel like if they continue to go forward with you, um, there's something about them you're going to figure out that is bad or that you don't like or that you won't accept. You can't push this topic based on my reading. Remember, the story isn't everyone's story. But the cooler waters for them is taking off. And sometimes that's what air signs will do. And you are also an air sign. So this could be your energy. You know, you could have done this not realizing you were pushing a person away by not letting them in. But normally Libras do have their heart and their head space connected. That's one air sign that does. If you're dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius, though, it may be a little bit different. Just remember that, especially Gemini energy because they're such young souls. All right, guys, let's pull a couple angel romance cards and get you guys out of here. This was a little bit of a confusing reading, but for the people, I know I always say fur, but for the people that this is going to resonate with, you're going to understand. You're going to understand the Two of Cups, and you're going to understand why it ends at the Knight of Pentacles with this immature energy somebody has very uh, immature energy and this this could be a capricorn taurus or a virgo too um i it, it could be any sign really we've pulled all the signs but i'm really feeling like it, this is a stagnant relationship right now okay somebody is very self-conscious to the point where they will lose love just to not be found out all right, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You're going to have to have a lot of faith to get through this, through to this person and let them know that you won't judge them on anything. Release your ex. It's time that to come to clear your energy. All right, this person, I it may, now that I'm thinking about it, hold on, let me listen. Spirit's actually saying that it actually could be an ex that they're still dealing with that calls them, that may bother them a lot, that um, they still feel something for, and they are not sure what to do about that situation because this person hurt them very badly but doesn't completely let go. They like hang them on a string, but doesn't completely let go. That might be a problem. 
All right, keep an open mind. Your soul may differ from your usual type and expectations. So if this person does open up to you about, a, and remember, I'm reading for a, a general collective right now, and I'm picking up on three different stories right now, and that's why this came out a little confusing. I feel like one story is like it's stagnant and this is very confusing relationship and you guys aren't talking at all. You will continue talking once one of you like will finally push forward in this and be impulsive and not give up, honestly. The second story I'm picking up on is this right here with this love and the justice and the messages. It's going to be all about somebody did somebody dirty and somebody has to apologize, either you or your person. Feeling like it's more your person, but it could be you. All right, the third scenario I'm picking up on is this um, where someone wants to go towards cooler waters and in their subconscious, because you are soulmates, they're really worried that you're going to judge them financially because Libras are normally very successful people. And that's why I think this keep an open mind comes in. I feel like each one of these cards came in. Like trust was the number one scenario. Release your ex was the number two scenario. And keep an open to mind is number three scenario. Very confusing, but... I can't always dictate what spirit tells me to read. This is what I'm picking up. This is what I got. And I feel like all of you really could have successful relationships with this person. But what are you willing to do to have it? Where are you willing to go? How far are you willing to go? And how much time are you willing to give it? Okay. You definitely, I, one thing I will say for all three of these situations is that this relationship needs to be monogamous and it can't be open. You guys need to shut down your dating sites, get off there and just be with each other and get to know each other better. And that cannot be a part of the deal. Like it, you guys cannot date other people. It will ruin you. That's one thing that I am for sure about. All right, this is a Stella K video. I hope this resonated with some of you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and also comment. I'm still a newbie on YouTube. And I love you all. And I hope to see you guys next week for your reading. All right, have a great week. And don't forget, just open your heart and love. And love comes to you, okay? We all... We all deserve love and we all get it eventually. Just not with the person sometimes right now. But I feel like two thirds of you, you're gonna get your person. All right, I love ya.